Let's talk about cryptocurrencies. As Bitcoin 10x in value, cryptocurrencies became the big trend of the 2020s with everybody looking for the next big move. We heard story after story of average Joes taking a thousand dollars and becoming a millionaire literally overnight. From your Uber driver to your office colleagues, everybody was looking for the next big coin to become the latest crypto millionaire. Would it be Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Floki, Shiba? Tell me, tell me. Surely I can put a few hundred dollars into each of these coins and pray for the best? This became the mentality of retail investors across the world. This is known as instant gratification. Instant gratification is defined as the desire to experience pleasure or fulfillment without delay or deferment. In other words, you want it right now. The opposite is delayed gratification, a term commonly used and exercised by people successful in their fields. This is when you wait for gratification. But waiting is tough. We have an innate desire to want things now, today, yesterday even. And that is what ultimately holds us back. We overestimate what we can achieve in a day and underestimate what we can achieve over a year. Unfortunately, there are many new crypto projects and companies all too willing to exploit this deeply rooted desire. This includes pumps and dumps. Pump and dump scams have been around since the conception of all securities. It has now unfortunately found its way to the gold rush in cryptos. The idea is as follows. A person or group of people buy into or create a thinly traded asset while the price is still low. They then start disseminating positive news about this crypto. This will be the next 100x coin. This will be the next Doge coin. Humans, eager for instant gratification and full of FOMO, flock to pile their money into these projects. Naturally, the price starts to rise. As the price gets fully pumped, the original scammers sell their stake to the new buyers coming in, causing the price to crash. Whilst illegal in the traditional stock markets, the crypto world is still embryonic and so such regulation doesn't quite exist. So. How does one invest and build wealth in crypto sustainably? How do I go from a thousand dollars to a million dollars the right way? First thing is first, don't go for broke. By doing so, you automatically frame your mind to chase risky speculative bets, making you the perfect victim for the fraudsters. You don't need to chase 100Xs all the time. Just three clean 10Xs will get you there. It isn't easy, but it is that simple. We just overcomplicate things. If you start with a little more, such as $10,000, then you just need two clean 10Xs. By going for broke, you will send yourself on a roller coaster of emotions. Some days winning and other days coming back crashing to earth. This will ultimately lead you to falling out of love with crypto. Step two, understand the rules of the game where you are. I've been trading stocks and crypto for many years, including at a well-known investment bank. What I learned is this, never play on a field where you don't understand the rules. Imagine somebody coming onto a basketball court and trying to kick the ball. The pros will be laughing and spotting you a mile off. Learn the regulations in your country. Understand which exchanges are allowed and the best for crypto in your jurisdiction. Understand and follow your local tax rules. Educate yourself on how to stay private online. Learn how to move your crypto to a cold wallet. These are all musts for anybody serious about building long-term sustainable wealth in crypto. Step three is optional and is completely based on your risk tolerance and psychology. A commonly recommended strategy is to take your initial investment out. For example, your initial $1,000 has grown into $10,000. Nice, you've just achieved your first 10X. Now you can go ahead and pull out that original $1,000. Yes, from here on in, you now have 10% less principal in the game. But psychologically, you're now playing with house money. There is no way you can be worse off from here. Now, 
this next one, step four, is super, super important. In order to be consistently profitable, we need to let the market come to us. In other words, we need to be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Buy the pullbacks and do not chase green candles. I call this green candle disease and we do not want that. Failing this, if you don't have the time, knowledge or patience to track the market fluctuation, then simply dollar cost average. This means set yourself a regular day or week when you load up on your favorite cryptos regardless of what the trading price is that day. DCA Inc has been proven to deliver amazing results in stocks and cryptos over the years. It's a great way to neutralize and dampen the extremes of fear and FOMO. Step number five. Remember that guy who was kicking a basketball? Yeah? Well, that is how you look to a professional trader when you try to trade cryptocurrencies. They are laughing at you and more times than not, they are taking your money and dunking on you too. It's not a fair game. They know the rules and you don't. So get off this court and play on one where you have a chance. Step six. And unfortunately, this is probably one of the most common mistakes made in crypto. And that is to panic sell. Imagine you bought Bitcoin at $20,000 a coin back in December 2017. One year later, in December 2018, your coin would have been worth $3,300. A fall of 83% out, right? Well, by April 2021, your same Bitcoin would have been worth $65,000. Imagine if you realized your loss at $3,300 emotional damn it this phenomenon is common across many asset classes but most notably in crypto which could be considered the most volatile asset class so it's important to hold firm and stick to your long-term convictions those who lose and fall out of love with crypto often had little to no conviction to begin with these are often the same people who have negative things to say about crypto and advise you not to invest it's safe to invest if you follow the right process take Take shortcuts and you'll get burnt just like in anything else. The next thing which I've learned through my time in crypto, which you're going to need to get those two 10Xs, is to focus on the horizon. Learn to look beyond the foreground, the day-to-day -day price movements and fluctuations, and focus on the long-term innovation and disruption. This is ultimately where the wealth and value is being created. Now for step eight. Do any of you have that one guy or girl in your network who messages you telling you about the 200X they just got on some poo coin? Yeah, that person. Person. Have you ever asked them back how much they put in that coin? More often than not, unless they're completely insane, it's often a tiny amount. Why? Because they didn't have the conviction to put $10,000 or $20,000 into a coin they have no clue about. So what if you're $50, 200x? It's not going to change your life, is it? But it's exactly these types of people we need to keep out of our investment bubble. These types of investors can enter our psyche. The FOMO is for real. We start to lose track of our long-term goals and start thinking, what if I put $1,000 or $10,000 into that 200X coin? Again, instant gratification, FOMO, you're gonna get wrecked. Keep your investment circle really tight with the kind of investors that you want to emulate. Rational, methodical, patient, unwavering. Just like you wouldn't take medical advice from your lawyer, don't take crypto investing advice from your Uber driver. Step nine, as you can tell, psychology plays a critical part in investing. From avoiding instant gratification and FOMO to avoiding panic selling in bear market, managing your psychology is something you will have to develop over time in crypto. He who can master his own psychology will master the markets. And last but not least, step number 10, leverage the wrecking ball of the crypto industry. You don't have to go far to find influencers lavishing around in their luxury cars and Rolexes, encouraging you to take out a 100X leverage trade on crypto or coin. Insane. Remember, the first goal to achieve a thousand dollars to a million dollars is to preserve what you have. Leverage is the quickest way to get back to zero. This constant cycle will keep holding you back. Focus on the goal. Three clean 10 X's. Imagine you have just three dots. You are three winning plays away from achieving your goals. There is no rush. Just pick the plays which are going to impact the world. So ultimately guys, these are the tips and tricks I've learned from trading stocks and crypto for many, many years. Following these steps will make investing Investing in crypto, not easy, but simple again. No more FOMO, no more chasing instant gratification, but instead focusing on the bigger picture. Investing for change, investing in projects which are building ambitious products 
to change the world. True, investing in cryptocurrencies is not for everybody. Some people just want to bet the farm and hope they hit the lottery. And that is okay. As long as you understand what you're doing, you try to manage your risk and you don't blame the markets when things don't go your way. For those who feel investing is for them, be prepared. Be prepared for a long, challenging, but emotionally draining yet rewarding experience.